the field of human rights is one that's really been very much um, made up of a series of qualitative methods. So mostly interviewing victims or survivors of human rights violation, interviewing government officials, interviewing um, experts. And in recent years, we've been bringing social science into the picture. But one thing that hasn't been tapped as much really in the human rights advocacy field is using quantitative data. Um, there are scholars of human rights who, of course, have been using quantitative data for some time. But this is a field where it's very hard, actually, to count things, to enumerate them, to quantify things. But it's also a place where if we can do that, we could really make some serious inroads. Um, we could, for example, determine whether a state has improved, its, um, it has improved in fulfilling its obligations under a treaty. We could try to figure out, for example, do people have access to quality water in a way that we, we couldn't in the past. And so I'm really excited about using those methods more effectively and also at the same time having a critical approach and realizing when they don't work.